Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing this crash bar on my new KTM 1290 Super Adventure. And those of you who are new to my channel, uh, I restore classic uh, Japanese motorcycles, but I just got a brand new KTM and I'm going to be installing this crash bar onto it. So here is the way that the crash bar comes directly from KTM. And here I'm unwrapping all of the bubble wrap. There's a lot of bubble wrap. Each one of the bars uh, is separate from the right to the left. And they wrap each piece up. And it comes with a bunch of hardware, which I'll be going over that. And I'll be going over the procedure on how to install this crash bar. So I got the, the orange one uh, that actually comes on the uh, 1290 Super Adventure R and mine is the S model which does not come with the crash bar and the the proper one for the S is actually black but I wanted to get the orange one to, to uh, have a little bit more orange on the bike like the R has and so those of you who have the S this is a really good solution to get some of the orange frame uh, look on the bike so here are the, the two halves here, the right and the left, and they're beautifully powder-coated from KTM, and the quality is very, very high. So they're very nice. And it comes with all the hardware, and the instruction manual comes in about four or five different languages. And each uh, page here is a different language. As you can see, I think it's English and French and Spanish and German and Italian. So each, each uh, instruction sheet is only one sheet front and back like, like this. So it's pretty simple to follow. And it comes with all brand new hardware here. Some of the bolts get replaced from the originals and then you have all the rest of the hardware here laid out. So you start off with uh, with uh, torque wrenches. Uh, all the the bolts are uh, torque type bolts and you start off by by taking off the little um, trim piece here And then the uh, the oil cap is held on by three three little screws here. And you have to take that off because the uh, the trim piece wraps around that to stabilize it. So once you get that off, then there's one more that that goes straight up from the bottom, and you get that out of there. And then the the trim piece comes off. And the trim piece was somewhat of a of a guard uh, in case you drop the bike, it wouldn't uh, damage the side of the gas tank. But it's, you know, not very strong and so on. So anyway, you have to take that off, and then they they provide you with this new bracket that holds the oil intake cap. Uh, it stabilizes that because that's on a flexible hose. And so that has to get stabilized once you take that trim piece off. So you, you screw that back on just like the original trim piece was. And then they provide you with a new bolt that replaces the one that you took out. And as you can see there, it's got a flexible hose. And the new bolt goes in right here where the old one came out through the bracket. Here's the new bolt here. It's the shorter one of the hardware. So then once that's done, you, you, they give you these plastic sleeves that go on the, the crash bar here.
and you just line that up, there's a uh, tab there that goes into the hole there in the center. You just put that there. And those, those sleeves uh, go around this bar here where the crash bar bolts up to. Then the other mounting point goes here. This is the main one that goes uh, right here where the old bolt came out of the trim piece. And they give you a new longer bolt. And then the one that goes uh, up, um, straight up here, And I discovered the best way to, to start the installation on this bar is to put the vertical bolt that goes straight up in first because that'll hold the, the, uh, the crash bar in place while you install the rest of the bolts. So here I'm installing the, the vertical bolt that goes straight up. And then after that, I put the bottom one bolt in and I just kind of leave everything a little bit loose just maybe snug it a little bit and leave it a little loose before you tighten everything at the end of the job so you put the uh, C clamps in here and then once you get all those bolts in there you just again you just kind of snug them up So then jumping over to the right side of the bike, uh, again, you take off the same trim piece off the same way as you did on the other side with these, with these two main bolts and the vertical bolt. And here's the vertical bolt like the other side. And then again, you put the plastic sleeves onto the crash bar. That wrap around the frame. And then same as the other side, you put the vertical bolt in first to kind of get it in place and hold it in place. And then the lower mount. and then jumping over to the C-clamps again. And again, as I always say on all my restoration videos, uh, I always hand tighten the bolts in first, just to make sure you're not cross-threading them and so on. And especially on these C-clamps, you know, they kind of go on there and they, they might go on a little crooked at first and then it's real easy to cross-thread the, the bolts if you're not careful about what you're doing. So. You have to kind of screw them in back and forth evenly so that the that the uh, clamp doesn't get all crooked. So then you jump over to the front of the bar, and there's two stainless steel Allen bolts that go in there. And then you can tighten those up. And then the kit comes with a uh, spacer that goes right here. There's a plastic guard uh, there, and and the uh, the old bolt uh, when you remove it. And then this this is a new spacer that comes in the uh, with the crash bar, and you have to slip that in there first, and then put the new bolt in, and that that stabilizes that little plastic shield. And that's it. That's, that finishes it. Then you can go around, tighten up all the bolts, and here's the finished product. And as you can see, it really, it really makes a difference on the, uh, on the black and silver bike. 
Um, I chose to get the got the uh, to get the black and silver bike over the orange and silver because the the orange is a matte finish, and I really like the high gloss on the uh, black and silver bike, and I chose to get the uh, the crash bar in the orange, which comes on the R, and it just really makes a big difference. It kind of gives that little bit of orange splash that the KTMs are known for. So um, that's going to do it for this video, and thank you so much for watching. And, and to you new to KTM guys, I do restorations on classic Japanese bikes, and I'll be uh, continuing with those videos here next. So uh, again, as always, thank you so much for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.